Today in cannabis news, a U.S. House panel will soon review a proposal supporting studies on the health effects of cannabis in military veterans. Lawmakers from both major parties in Pennsylvania introduce a cannabis legalization proposal during a flurry of statewide policy initiatives. And the Kentucky state legislature will again consider a medical cannabis proposal during the upcoming session. It's Tuesday, October 12th, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, the VA Cannabis Research Act, introduced by U.S. Representative Lau Korea, will be heard soon by the U.S. House Veterans Affairs Subcommittee on Health. The bill would require the Veterans Affairs Department to carry out a number of clinical studies on medical cannabis for military veteran conditions such as PTSD and chronic pain. While VA authorities have consistently raised objections to older iterations of the bill and also similar cannabis and veteran-centered bills, proponents are hoping that President Joe Biden's administration will finally support the bill. California was the first state in the union to legalize cannabis way back in 1996, Representative Korea said. So far, we know cannabis is good for seizures, glaucoma, chronic pain, PTSD, and God knows what are the other things it's good for. But we don't know until we do medical research, and we cannot do medical research until cannabis is declassified at the federal level. Next up, a long-awaited bipartisan state Senate proposal to legalize cannabis in Pennsylvania was officially announced after months of preparation. It's the most recent in a long line of reform proposals championed by politicians of both major parties lately. Adults 21 years or older would be able to buy and carry a maximum of 30 grams of cannabis, 5 grams of cannabis extract goods, and 500 milligrams of THC in cannabis-derived goods under the law. Just certified medicinal cannabis patients would be allowed to grow up to 5 plants at home for private consumption. The recent weeks have been heavily involved in the Pennsylvania legislature when it comes to cannabis policies. Representative Eamon Brown recently revealed their intention to submit a reform proposal with Senator Mike Reagan, while another duo of state legislators, Representatives Jake Wheatley and Dan Frankel, recently publicly presented a legalization proposal they're sponsoring. Last up, in Kentucky's upcoming legislative session, a scaled-back medical cannabis proposal will be submitted in an attempt to obtain backing from Republican legislators who have previously opposed it, a bill that would have enabled physicians to recommend cannabis from a variety of medicinal illnesses and established a set of regulations to cultivate and distribute it was approved by the State House in 2020, but died in the Senate. Individuals would no longer be able to cultivate their own plants in the updated edition. And similar to the last iteration of the proposal, it prohibits individuals from smoking cannabis, instead legalizing just cannabis edibles and extracts. Representative Jason Neems, a Republican from Louisiana, and the bill's sponsor stated that the proposal is solely for persons with severe medical illnesses and not for adult use recreational consumption. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For Tricomes.com, I'm Devin Leal. And I'm RJ Balde, signing off. <laughs>